All right, so one of the most missed questions on the test, on the quiz today, was the calculation of the average atomic mass. So I'm going to give you a problem and show it to you in a simpler way so that you don't kind of feel like it's too difficult. The problem I'm going to show you is right here. It says rubidium has two common isotopes, rubidium-85 and rubidium-87. If the abundance of rubidium-87 is 27.8% and the abundance of rubidium-85 is 72.2%, calculate the average atomic mass for, for rubidium. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to list all the isotopes that are mentioned in this question. So when I look at the question again, um, I see rubidium-87 and I see rubidium-85. So I'm going to list those here. Um, for you guys to know, remember that number in the top left-hand corner of the symbol represents the atomic mass for each of those isotopes. So in this question, rubidium has two isotopes, rubidium-85 and 87. The 85 and the 87 represent the atomic mass for each of those isotopes. Okay, so here's what you do. You look at the question and you're going to first list the mass of each of the isotopes. So for rubidium-85, it's going to be 85. And for rubidium-87, it's going to be 87. So that is going to be the atomic mass, I'm going to kind of abbreviate a bit, for each of the elements, okay, for each of the isotopes, I'm sorry. And then we're going to list their percent abundance. And I'm going to abbreviate again, percent abundance like that. When I read up here, it says that rubidium-85 has an abundance of 72.2%. So for rubidium-85, I'll put 72.2%. And rubidium-87 has an abundance of 27.8%. So I'm going to put right here, rubidium-87 has a percent abundance of 27.8%. Now, the way I'm going to show you is a bit of a shortcut. Now, normally you would have to convert these percentages into decimal form first, but I'm going to show you a little shortcut to kind of make your life a little bit easier. So if you take the atomic mass of each isotope and you multiply it just with the percentage number, just with the number, so 85 times 72.2, you're going to multiply those two numbers, and out of the calculator you're going to get 6,137. Now the important thing to remember again is that you have to take significant figures into account. So if you look at the atomic mass, it's 85. So there's two significant figures. Your answer can then only have two significant figures. So again, you count the first two, draw the line. Um, everything else then is going to turn into zeros. So 6,137 turns into 6,100 with two significant figures. And then I'm going to do the same thing below. 87 times 27.8. In the calculator, you're going to get 2,418.6. Again, considering significant figures, 87 um, has two significant figures, so your answer can only have two. One, two, line down. 2,418.6 becomes 2,400 or 2,400. Okay. So I've taken the mass of each of the isotopes for rubidium and multiplied them by the percent abundance, and I've gotten these two values. The next thing you do is you add these babies up. So 6100 plus 2400 gives you 8500 or 8500, okay? Now, here's where the shortcut comes in. Normally, like I told you before, you would normally multiply the mass times a percentage in decimal form, but we're just going to take care of that at the very end. So if we take our final answer and divide it by 100, we'll get our answer, the average atomic mass for rubidium, as 85. Okay? Because 8,500 divided by 100 will give me 85 for a value. Now here's a way to double check to make sure that you did it right. You look at the two um, isotopes for rubidium, and you're going to ask yourself, which of the two has the highest percent abundance? When I look here, 85 has a percent abundance of 72.2%, and rubidium-87 has a percent abundance of 27.8%. If your answer, your calculated average atomic mass, is closest to the isotope that's in the highest percent abundance, then you've probably done your calculations correctly. Now, in this case, since rubidium-85 makes up 72.2% of all rubidium, and your average atomic mass is 85, then you're pretty darn close. Okay? So that's it. Pretty simple, right?